up, y'all? Thanks for stopping by my channel. It's Team Queen and Mentality. Be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. So that way you get to know when I post all of my tea talks. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, love and light, getting it together, keeping it together, and moving along. Okay. I'm not gonna tarry too long with this tea talk. Um, so go ahead, get your water, get your wine, get whatever it is that you're sipping on, get it focused, get it. And bring it close. Um, this tea talk is a tea talk that I like to sometimes um, check in with just to make sure I'm still on the straight and narrow. A lot is going on outside of our homes, outside of, you know, um, what we have to prioritize. So we need to kind of like have a tea talk or discuss a tea talk topic that a lot of us need to keep in mind the frontal cortex part okay um we we have a lot of folks that consider themselves soldiers but they don't consider themselves leaders so like i said i don't know if i said it already but get your water get your wine get whatever it is that you sipping on get it and bring it close okay like i said we have a lot of soldiers out here but yet they don't know the first steps outside of them thinking that they are strong-minded enough and strategic enough to help a village help a flock of people but you have to understand that the process all begins in you learning the basics while you're a leader, not you trying to assume, you know, you're the head of the pride. So, like I said, I'm not going to tarry too long. Um, This tea talk, all of these uh, points that I'm going to give you all are characteristics and they are gestures perhaps of what you'll see in a leader now whether it's you leading yourself you know leading someone behind you a legacy behind you or you're just being mindful of the example you're setting these leadership key points will definitely be good for you um to be honest i learned these key points through my pet child i mean no cap for real though like um you'll be amazed now i'm 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 not i don't i've said this before y'all got me stuttering i'm not a one to believe like i'm built f1 for f-150 strong to you know birth babies so kudos to all y'all out there that can do it however comma i i like to kind of like do as I please, come and go as I please. But, you know, needless to say, whatever it is that I have, they need to be just as self-sufficient as I am. So, needless to say, um, even then, anything that, you know, um, is looking for you to guide them, they're looking to you for counseling in, in retrospect of you giving them the right example to uh, follow that's part of being a leader and it's not always easy as people think it is I mean folks that we see on TV that we think are on the top of the world aren't really leaders they're the complete opposite but for the ones who are comfortable and confident in their skin regardless of how many lights they have in front of them or not they know that they have leadership characteristics so we're going to get into that just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not about to hit the high note because I don't have no water, wine, or nothing I'm sipping on in front of me to help me with that. So we're going to get right on into it. So number one, he's taught me, as in, in the words of leadership and what I've learned, leadership has taught me that you have to confront things, not compromise. A lot of times it's easier to kind of soothe everybody by giving them a little bit of what they want but that neglects abandons and <laughs> abandons yes all of that it abandons what the original goal is in mind okay no one likes something that keeps coming back becoming a nuisance and they're like on calendar time like you can clock them no one likes uh comfort uh 
having a compromise like that because at some point in time someone's going to get a little bit more than the other and then it's going to be a big problem with 100 percent of everybody and the one thing i believe is leaders can't put out all fires so at some point if you minimize how much uh confrontation there is there's really minimum to no compromising needed now when i say minimum a uh, compromise I mean like say for instance right kids these days they need to go to bed school is back in full effect okay full swing swinging from a chandelier all time not part time so them wanting to stay up late at night and watch all this extra stuff on TV everybody be real quick to think the old school way is the best way see when I was growing up I used to always get creeped out when I used to see someone peeking through the crack of my door, my bedroom door, because I literally knew and always know, like, my folks come to see if I'm asleep or not. And if we weren't, they they will beat us to sleep. They will whoop us to sleep. So these days and times, you can't you can't do that. You know, um, they don't. You can, but at these days and times, what it was, I experience they will consider trauma um yes and then no but needless to say that's a patreon conversation but needless to say it's kind of just like you can't do what used to be done in a different day and time these days and times they got them gummies that have melatonin in it for the kids give them a couple of them and call them fruit snacks before they go to bed and see what happened confront it okay the only type of compromising it needs to be going on is that but needless to say what the confrontation is about is making sure that that baby go to sleep you can you can get what you want out of the deal okay thank me later number two you're responsible to maintain order and authority this is the closest thing to the sun and the truth because when i was okay story time when i was growing up <coughs> I asked that fatal question. I don't like hearing children say they ask their parents these days. And that question is, well, what are we going to do? You know, when it's really out in the open and exposed that there's no solution to your issue. And now the child is getting involved asking what's going to happen next like that's a red flag okay now I'm not saying someone is not a leader but I'm just saying that's when we kinda have to reel ourselves back in as leaders and a couple things I learned about self-defense is you have to accept the circumstances you have to acknowledge what is available to you so you're able to put yourself in a better position and then once you're in a better position a uh, position you don't stop okay um no pun intended okay I'm not condoning violence but I'm just saying that is the mental registration that's needed in order for you to come out surviving okay so it's the same thing when it comes down to being a leader all right you have to realize at all costs at all times you have to remain dominant you have to remain having order and authority now that can go over your words that can go over whatever it is that you're trying to manage but needless to say a leader accepts these things and then from there they realize what they're able to do now you either can step up or you can fall short it's completely up to you but needless to say you have to even then like it just hit me like eat that even comes out to emotion like you ever notice like when people like have situations and stuff happen and like the next thing you know like I'm one of them anxiety kicks in like it goes for emotional as well like you have to maintain control you have to maintain order you have to maintain the authority of like look 
you know, issues been here way before I became part of testing time. So it's not as if like this is something new to me or new to someone that's walking outside. So you got this, you can handle this. Like you've you've handled everything else up to this point. What's the issue? What's the problem? If it's time for you to elevate and step up, then do what leaders do and accept your role, accept your responsibility, accept what you are willing to be accounted for. If you want to be a leader, you have to account for it. Amen. Amen. Number three, the leader feeds and protects his flock. Anyone that knows of me that knows me will tell you when it comes to my child, my child eats well. <laughs> and you know so do I but at the same all at the same time I don't have anyone in my circle past present or future that is ever going to say being around me you know you're going to be hungry you're going to be without you're going to learn okay you're going to increase your value you're going to gain encouragement you're going to gain support you're going to gain a little bit of my humor as well and you're going to realize within your own time how you want to life is only life is only out of hand when we choose to mishandle it that's when it decides to make an example out of us and even when it makes an example out of us that's only for a storm that's only for a small a small period of time at some point you're going to have to stand up in the midst of that storm and whoever is looking for the same amount of mercy to make it grace to make it you have to be willing to share to be able to get to the other side okay that's protection helping them along the way you're not only feeding them mentally but prayfully you teach them along the way how to fend for themselves so then that way whenever y'all do part and they have to become leaders of their own they know how to fend for themselves number four leaders are aware of growth and that it is needed to stay on the top of their game look that's what every day is for that's what it's meant for it's not meant for us to get up and grovel about yesterday it may have sucked it may have hurt but guess what it lets you know you're still human so realize that and some of the best humans out here are leaders they're leaders that cry regardless if it's in public or not but the thing is they know the intention and the emotion and the, the, the spirit and God that is attached to it. So as much as what we think we know, we don't. But those are the first couple of key steps to help you be enlightened. So that way you do know. So y'all tell me down below, what makes for a good leader? What makes for a great, well not even great, let's, let's say a satisfactory leader of the flock. There's nothing worse than you trying to lead uh, sheep and people in the dark and you have all the light. You have to be willing to share some of that so then that way someone can be able to come from behind and continue the process, continue the pattern. Everybody wants to say that they're the boss of their pride and you know... At the tip top but nobody wants to put in that work no one wants to put in that leadership work no one wants to claim the heartaches and the hurts and the wounds and the scars as much as someone wants to take prize and have notice well consider yourself on notice okay in order to be a leader you got to stop thinking as if like you're cool with just being a guard what are you guarding so y'all let me know y'all enjoy y'all saturday be sure that y'all like share and subscribe hit that notification bell down below and i will holla at y'all later bye <laughs>